Swing! Swing! Got to say it like that. There's an exclamation mark. Project Sam have done a new thing. They've coloured it green and called it Swing. And it's boundless creativity like that that you can hear as I go through this new library, which focuses on, well, Swing. There's big band stuff in there. You can see here, you've got, you've got so big band stuff. You've got saxes, you've got your brass, you've got rhythm section, you've got drums and uh, upright bass and uh, slide guitars. Um, there's quite a lot in here, some sort of things you wouldn't necessarily expect, and some grooves. So let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start, if I can open the thing, uh, with big band legato. Uh, which is clarinets, saxes, trumpets, and trombones. And it sounds like this. <laughs> That's pretty smooth to me. Anyone familiar with my videos knows I go on and on and on about legato, which is the real transitions between the notes, and that's what that's the glue that makes it sound convincing. Big band stuff has been some of the hardest stuff for VIs to get right, and that's a particular tone. It's quite a warm tone, that, isn't it? It's not your big bah, although there is some big bah coming up, but that's not in this patch. This is... So you can play moderate fast, super fast, it doesn't quite translate, so you, that's that's how you're playing this one. Let's give you a quick overview of what we've got here. So we have this sort of, um, I can't remember what door stands for now. Uh, this is the, the closest mic is here, let's just, just go through here. Close mic, this one is the uh, ambient wide so that's sort of stage i think of that as more stage and that as room a bit more detail in there just get that room sound a bit more and that one this is the kind of close stage that that i end up using pretty much all the time that automatically uh adjusts the levels of the three things there so close Also, there's a bit of reverb on there. I'll take it off so you can just hear the sound of the room. Space-wise, that's, to me, that doesn't sound dissimilar to what we've got in the Symphobia series or Orchestral Essentials, their stage, um, uh, their stage position. So I think this will be blending in very nicely. Thank you very much. You've got this reverb as well here. If you're familiar with my other things, the way I have it set up is that I have a tail reverb, which is quite cavernous. I'm going to shorten this at some point. It's just what happens to be loaded up on my contact aux is there. And early reflections, which puts that sort of distance, the, it puts the instruments back a bit. Early reflections on aux one. If you want to blurry it up a bit. In this case, I wouldn't use that at all. Um, I think where they had it is, is very good. Um... So yeah, this is the lead instruments category. Uh, you'll, it goes into more details and more articulations with these in the other categories, but we'll go through it in order. That's pretty much what I seem to do. Now, we um, have got a couple of trumpet options, and they're both with the uh, Harmon mutes, and they're both they're very very distinctive sounds for that style. Uh, this is regular Harmon. So I'm going on the mod wheel here. I think it's a trick. I don't think it's real dynamic layers. And that can give you problems with real layers and solo instruments with phasing. And so they've done a trick, which is pretty effective, actually. Just more muted here. Muted mute. And as I'm playing the key velocity, it switches between the articulations. So watch what's going on here. If I play it at the, at the, at the quietest dynamic, you get staccato. And as I'm playing it a little harder, I'm just... You've got legato non vibrato. If I can play it consistently on this rubbish keyboard that I've still got. So you hit it a little harder. You've got the vibrato coming in. 
and how it does it it's not again it's not mixing between those things where you can get these horrible phasey things it's it's one note or the other it's one articulation or the other so i've got that in a moment non vibrato a bit harder mr vibrato comes in like that and there and there's an accent on the hardest dynamic of a marcato There's a few little funnies in there. We go down to the A2 there and up to up to E4. I think the funnies is probably to do with the velocity when I'm think I'm playing a legato transition and on this rubbish keyboard I'm actually well it's, it's a work when playing his tools isn't it um it's uh I'm probably hitting a staccato or something which kind of can spoil the moment but hey you get the idea there um and the cup legato is that different tone again uh which We've got this really funky little thing. We've got legato runs on here on third, fourth, and fifth transitions. So you heard that there. If I'm playing it quietly on a fifth. Oops, I played it too hard. That's regular legato if I play it in the middle. So I'll do minor or major thirds. Minor or major thirds, fourth or fifth. That seems to be how it goes. And again, we've got that accent. It's a staccato accent, but it's the same principle as the last one. Now, let's just focus on those little runs again. You'll see you've got this little icon here. And that is here, a speed icon. So if I can slow those runs right down by going down here. That's really extreme. There's a few artifacts in there, but more likely you want to speed it up. Does go down as well. How fast would it go? A real blur of the of the fingers. Pretty handy. Again, similar sort of range, isn't it? Identical range, in fact. And a lot of the patches in Swing are like this. They're kind of designed to be have a lot of articulations in the one patch and be playable rather than key switches. It tends to be velocity switching, which normally works well. It can be frustrating, uh, I find, on <laughs> keyboard as rubbish at this. I'll name and shame every time. It's the M Audio Key Station ES88, and it's all over the place. There is a new one out, I know. Um, is it Nectar? Made one. But it's got thousands of buttons on it I don't want, and people are saying the keyboard's not that great on it. Sorry, enough of my personal problems. Right, nylon guitar. So again, here we have um, the various controls, original. That's adding vibrato on the mod wheel. Play it gently. Staccato. Play it a little harder. Got non vibrato, vibrato, and this is, and you've got a few down here, you've got a few little noises that you can put in there as you play it. Um, it's fairly straightforward, this one. There's a few more tricks on some of the other patches that we'll hear coming up to it, but. Uh... Goes up to C, goes down to uh, there. Bobby. So let's try some good, try some big wide chords. That's pretty decent. 
しの。You find as you play, you, you're not really concentrating too much on what's triggering what velocity. It kind of works, which is the, which is the idea, I think. And another kind of guitar. Now, this is a Manouche. Manouchka guitar. I, I, I've probably pronounced it all wrong. Now, here we've got a few more little tricks going on. So we have non vibrato. So the shorter ones, so you play it lightly. And right, so what's happening here is watch the top one on the velocity. You change what's on the hard notes by the mod wheel. So the mod wheel doesn't affect the short notes at all. But it's changing that top slot, okay? So you can have uh, that or into vibrato or put the slides down. And they hold quite a while. So you've kind of really got to sort of anticipate that. Oh, hello. Haha, <laughs> I forgot this. Up the top here, you've got these um, tricks up the sleeve. You've got chromatic grace notes. So I'm playing the grace notes on uh, C5. Or chromatic runs, if I play slowly, and this, and repetitions when I play hard, and you've got two variations of those. Huh. So all your regular stuff, you're playing down there, uh, around this part of the keyboard, and if you want to do something fancy, playing it that up there up the what i'm saying there you're not seeing what i'm doing it's those there let's just zip this up so you can see this whole part of the keyboard has the uh fancy bits and very effective it is too again it's a very particular sound isn't it this is where project sam is so good at combining these different textures to create a sound that's quite cohesive um we have some accordions didn't expect that, did you? Maybe you did. You heard the demos. Um, simple dynamics. Play it on its quietest. You have a crescendo diminuendo. So that's that natural flow. So you've got kind of the mod wheel doing one lot of dynamics, but the velocity accentuates it as well. So you'll naturally play it together because you have a different actual set of samples for the quiet there. If I play it harder, but don't touch the mod wheel. You've got more brightness in there. And the velocity, when you whack it, you've got the accent. Where does it start, F? Well, what do you want? You want accordion eight stop shorts, perhaps, because uh, that's in a separate patch here. There's obviously too many articulations to fit into one patch. Now, here. I might want to turn up the release a little more because otherwise it sounds like it cuts off to me. And these are all short patches.
Um, that's called an eight stop. So that's one sound. And the musette, again, I apologise for my pronunciation. This is your classic. Ah, ha, ha. Similar tricks. Let's just get hear these. Similar space here. I think I forgot to show you that. The space in the guitars, I should go back to that in a minute at the end of this. It's slightly different. It's a smaller space. Anyway. Um, I won't be doing any uh, country-based cliches with this I promise and when I say I promise I normally don't mean it but I will try hard to restrain myself same thing I'm hearing that kind of artificially clip you get that um, so I might say turn the reverb off and turn this release up where we hear all of the decay of the sample ah that's nicer I'm just <laughs> what am I doing Uh, and look, the fun keeps coming because now a harmonica comes into it. It's, it's there's all sorts of instruments you don't get, and it's a really nice harmonica too. Listen to this. So, little swell there. Staccato when you hit it hard. Long normal, and then you turn up the mod wheel. Ah, oh, there it is. Harmonica, oh, look, I've got, listen to this, right? This is me on a real harmonica. That's about all I can do. It's, as you suck and you blow, you get these different tones, and it's actually phenomenally hard to play. And the harmonica so often is all about that kind of, those really distinctive techniques that, and just playing the right notes is really hard on a harmonica. Well, I think it's hard anyway. Buy them new for about eight quid, but they're hard to play. So, whereas with guitars, I've got real guitars behind me, and I'd normally reach for the real guitars. For the for the harmonica, I'm going. Do you know what? I think I'll be using this. It's beautifully recorded, beautiful tone. Do all your polyphony, whatever you want to do with it. Now, ha, here's the real fun at the top of the keyboard. So starting on D, what are we, D5. Oh, it's that one. All of which is on your speed control, so if you need it a bit snappier. Whoop. And at the bottom you have your chords. There's stuff everywhere on this patch. Um, little trills down at the bottom. Ah, I mean that's I'm I'm thinking westerns. I'm thinking all those cliches when I hear that. So you can use it in this context, but it's that kind of patch that you've got to go, ah, when I you know, where was that? Oh, it was in swing. Because that'll be useful in all sorts of other contexts. The toy piano is perhaps well there it is. Toy piano release on. Turn the odd wheel off, release off. Hear those clunks at the end, release on. There are all times in life when we need a toy piano, but in my case, it's few and far between. Um, I'll move on. Whistle Ensemble. A few breaths. Do you know what? All these things, when you start putting them together, you start thinking, aha, advertising. 
Uh, there's more of this coming up. We've got ukuleles. We've got all this kind of stuff. And it's all over adverts, this stuff, isn't it? Not oh, bright and breezy. Oh, I don't know what I'm playing, but, you know. Four handsome guys whistling. I'm a fifth guy. And I'm not handsome. Um, so that's your leads. Right, OK. Let's... Oh, no. I did, I did promise you didn't I? I did, just just before we move on, I did say that we'd just go back and listen to the space of the room. In fact, I had on the same patch. What a waste of time. So that's close. That's the room here. Now that sounds like a much smaller room to me. And if I put on my own sort of early reflection and tail... Well, it's slightly more of a scoring place. That's how I'd sort of do that. Right, OK. Uh, the, the smaller room, uh, you know, I'm not sure how... I, uh, that, I'm not especially sold on the small room sound, but it's no biggie. Just stick on the close. OK, so we're on to Big Band really this time. Big Band, unison, all. Clarinet, saxes, trumpets, trombones. So it's the same... I think this is the same uh, arrangement, the same... Uh, oh, what, what, what word am I thinking of? As as the legato patch, isn't it? But you've got staccatos, you've got macatos. So you can have just short patches if you keep the mod wheel down. I'm hearing it so you can hear repetitions. Well, up and there you go. Oh, nice. So at the bottom here, we got. down there, isn't it? The mod wheel up. Something I've noticed, you can get away with a lot more fluid playing in the bottom end without a legato patch, I think. Legato seems less important in the lower ends. And there's more fun to be played with that, but that's your that's your sort of basic longs and shorts. There's a variation here of the same the same lot just in longs. If you just want to keep it simple. That's sort of more stage in there, isn't it? That's did I move that back again? There you are doing a crossfade. It works. Crossfades work better in ensembles and solos, basically. So that's that. Big band tutti. Now, this is going to be a different arrangement of instruments. That was clarinet, saxes, uh, and here we have trumpets, trombones, contrabassoons, and double bass. <laughs> And yeah, maps, you know, they're kind of that's that's all sorts. Oh, it's raining. Um that's mapped with uh low end instruments all playing in octaves and that's just one note. All that richness. My lousy play. And that's great, because I'm naturally wanting to hit hard for the... Now on the mod wheel... 
There we are. Or the Deutsch where it goes up. Hours of fun. And that's the kind of sound I've really been longing for. Something that I think will blend with a big ensemble sound that will blend with a big orchestra. And if you need to do that kind of incredible sort of sound, uh, you're in with a fighting chance with this, I think. Which is... I'm playing different velocities with different notes, I think, which is why we're getting a double effect there. And then that's break, broken down here into simple longs. We want to be careful with chords, it just sounds too big. Two notes is probably as big as you ever want to go with that. And shorts, where we have this. And that's changing the articulations on lowest and highest velocity. And there's a really w even wider octaves. Yeah. range that and if I play hard you have that natural crescendo too big you've really got to hit it hard to get that crescendo don't you blimey Big band chords. Now this is programmed arrangements, not programmed. Uh, it's arranged with the complete chord in it. So playing one note. <laughs> okay, let's turn the mod wheel down. Let's go onto the trills. That's highest velocity. Short. Got your majors on the bottom octave. Short notes um, on uh, on the lowest key velocity, highest key velocity, which I'm not hitting. Get the fall. Uh, so this is actually adjusting the middle part of it. Oh, it's the doorbell. So I mind getting that. Um, the mod wheel is affecting your middle velocity, whether or not you get the sw get the swell. Which you can change the speed of. Let's snappy it up a bit. Pushing or dragging. Um, and then... I think the trills are excellent, actually. Or shake, as I... It's often those shakes and those trumpets. Lovely. So, yeah, what was I saying? Major at the bottom. Minor there. Diminished minor seventh, is that? Four on theory. I think that's what that's saying. And again, it's a different arrangement. You've got clarinet, saxes, trumpet, trombone, contrabassoon, double bass. Nice chords. Um, personally, I find playing chords generally quite tricky. So before I embarrass myself further, we'll move on. Others might well be better at playing that kind of stuff than me. Diminished sevenths. It's pretty cool right there, isn't it? Um, again, speed. Gliss falls. Okay. Okay, so that's what you got. 
and loud. And mod bill will go up or down. The thing about this is that kind of it's ending on some kind of funky chord, isn't it? It's kind of I would have quite liked a version that ended on there. Just uh that's got a flattened something in it, isn't it? I'd have liked something that just goes bam, you know, on the on the root note. Falls at the top. Jazzy. Low ensemble with trombone. Gently. That's you see what I'm doing now. I'm up in the mod wheel to get a a harder shorten one. Or you can just and tax trombone double bass pits that bass pits comes up a lot actually in this library um alt mapping so that's doing the dynamics on key velocity and the mod will change its thing so some parts might be easier with one patch some might be easier with the other and you have the option and this is a different arrangement of instruments with the contrabassoon. Everybody got that. There we go, big band ensemble. Now, we then break out into sections. And here is the sax section, unison short. And of course, you don't have any saxes in any of the symphobias or something like that. So this is where you turn to if you want to put some jazz in your stuff. Oh, right, okay. Right, same deal. Mod wheel down. You get a straight Mercato accent. there and Schwarzando crescendo if you go up there got a nice bite on those shorts I think in general with these I'm not getting that dreaded keyboard effect you so often get with brass patches it's nicely done very nicely done that's your shorts here's your longs got non-vib on quiet key presses press a bit harder Well, I'm not hearing that going into vibrato there because it should transition. I was hearing that. Plenty of vibrato there, but that middle one, I'm not quite sure. It's a lot of notes. The, you're getting the doubling up of all the instruments, of course, the more you play, the more notes you play. So I think two notes are sounding very nice. Three notes, okay. It's good. Ooh, 
growls. I like the sound of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you have to... So, you know, you can't go anywhere with that on this patch, but if you just want to put one in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've got more chords here, mapped all over the place. Majors. I'm gonna have to really whack it to get sustained here. I should have said actually, there's different um, to adjust for keyboards. This switch, the velocity, can sort of change the curve of the response. It's a whole lot easier for me to hit that now. Anyway, so we've got um, majors, minors, uh, what's it, DDM7, major 7th diminished, diminished, that's major 7, what's that other one then? Many of you, much more versed than I am, will be screaming at me, for goodness sake, guy, learn your theory. Too late, too late, mate. I'll just play what sounds nice. Uh, and you have sustains. And a fall at the top end there. Quite a long hold, isn't it? Um. There we go. Glisses. Again, just great for the... You'll need that patch for like for one moment in a track or something. Upwards. And downwards. Have it quite subtle, if you want. How about that? Subtle. And bonus octaves. Regular octaves, bonus ones. Nice patch, actually. Uh, saxes. On to brass. And this will be my last section here. I'll do all the rest of the bits and pieces, which uh, are rhythm section, guitars, and tango synths. I'll do that in a second uh, patch, because these sort of fit together. Uh, quite well. Get a really sharp, lovely. Diminuendo or schwozando. Blimey, that's sharp, isn't it? It's sort of running a little hot, actually. lovely love it uh, and the schwozando let's just hear that again um, with speed so I'll make it faster uh, what's happening there is of the three notes some of them are triggering some velocity and some are others so I'm going to have to really whack them Try doing this curve thing. See if that helps us. Nope. <laughs> anyway, lovely patch. And here we have basic shorts. We still have a Schwarzenegger option on there. Oh, it's the same, but without the speed control option. Without the speed control, it will take up less memory. So if you don't want to make use of that and just want to use it, say, as shorts, then... You could go for this patch. And then the longs. It's 
Lovely. That's incredibly playable, and that's a, a lovely tone, I think. That's, it evokes, you know, it evokes what it evokes. Right, ah, here we go. Trumpet section, high runs. Um, right, so this is the main part. The patch is up the top here. Uh, now that tone, again, is just exactly what I'm after. And here's the real fun. Baby, I'm buying it just for that batch. And then you want to do a four. Like you know, maybe layer up two patches and do it that way. But that that's the exact sound I've been after for years and years and years. To get that huge biting ensemble playing FFFF on shakes and falls and stuff. And that will, I think, fit into orchestral stuff great. So... Uh, I'm very excited about this patch. And then velocity, you see what's happening there. Staccato on short notes. Wowzers! Goes up to top F. Love it. And this is, I think, just an alternate programming. So you have mod wheel between... Again, if you want to just stick on... Staccato, say that might be a better one to use. And in velocity, handles the Arctic. Just whichever one you prefer. Um, what I wouldn't love for that trumpet stuff to have a legato option. It doesn't. Maybe one day in the future. Who knows? But that's um, such a great sound. Oh, you hear that rain? Aren't you glad you're not out in that? Smashing on the studio here. Um, so, right, we've got staccatos, frosando, crescendos, marcatos down here. Yeah, good range on that. And you have the speed. I still got turned up, I think. So, uh, this is just solo stuff, isn't it? Solo Harmon, not cupped version. Same thing without the speed control, save on your RAM, and the long version. bass, gin, the girls left you, you know. Um, lovely. Harmon Cup. Speed on all these. Uh, oh, that's unusual. Just on the shorts. Okay, fine. It is, you know, there's a lot of different ways that they map things and it does take a little while to get your head around the options there the short I'll pass over because that's exactly the same as what we've seen without the speed control uh, and longs No legato there, but nice for gentle chords. Bone solo. Okay, nice. Listen to that. That's just one trombone. Making that huge sound. So for that, I might want to have those releases up again. God, rasp 
I love that. That's odd, that one. There we go. If you know what I mean about those releases, I so often on Project Sam Short, I want to turn the release right up. Get the lovely sound of that room. You're committed to the crescendo then. Oh, no, you're not. Still have to hold that. I'm not sure why that is, but that sort of works. Uh, a mod wheel. Okay, so we've got... And you've got those falls at different dynamics as well. Again, super useful. This trombone is lovely, isn't it? And you've got the longs. So, no vibrato. Vibrato one. Or vibrato two. Which is delayed. You've just got a couple of seconds of regular and it goes into it. Okay, phew, look at that, it's already three quarters of an hour. I thought I'd be rushing through this quite quickly, but that's been quite long. And so if you want to hear what the rhythm section is like, there's loops, there's all sorts of goodies in there. Um, join me on the next video.